very excited to share with you a new video series this year, which will appear weekly in Here's the Scoop, and it is called Edu AI Weekly. <laughs> Isn't that clever? Um, it actually, uh, AI helped me come up with that name, by the way. So what it's going to do is it's going to be a video series and each video is going to be five minutes or less. And we're just going to go over some quick tips, tricks. What's the latest and greatest in AI just to keep you, um, just to keep you current in that new world that we live in. So um, the way the structure is going to work is I'm going to start off with some information and then I'll talk to you weekly about a tool or two that has to do with AI. So today, the, the learning that I want us to do together is what I call AI sandwich. And I think it's super critically important for all of us as adults and kids to understand this piece of using AI. So with an AI sandwich, you have human inquiry on either end, and then AI is smooshed inside of that sandwich. And this is super important because the work that we do as humans, the critical thinking elements, the, the thinking through really great prompts and understanding what information we want to get out of AI has to be the first element before we ever start to use this tool. Once we have input that information into AI, then AI generates some output for us. But the current data shows that it's kind of an 80-20 split, that there's up to a 20% chance of error. Bias is a big deal of that information that comes out of the, the AI um, tool that you are using. And so that's, again, where the human element comes into play, where we need to then critically analyze that information, determine those biases, see if there's errors, et cetera, before we ever use that information. So that is the AI sandwich, and that should always be our guide anytime that we use these tools. So today I want to talk to you about ChatGPT and also Copilot for Bing. So let's jump right on over to ChatGPT. This you have probably heard about because this is what started it all from a company called OpenAI two years ago. And ChatGPT is super easy to use. You just go to chatgpt.com and there's a little button in the um, top left-hand side for a new chat. Click on a new chat and you can start asking it questions and it will, pro it will give you answers. So let's quickly take a look at one of these. They give you some prompts down here or there's a spot for you to put your own prompt in. Um, let's look at this one. Tell me a fun fact about the Roman Empire. So we'll click on that and it's going to generate an answer for us. That simple. <laughs> it's really quick. A um, couple things you might need to know. There's a little button here for you to copy that information. And then you can paste it anywhere. It copies it to your clipboard. And before we move over to Copilot, one thing I want to share with you about ChatGPT and really any AI tool you use be very, very careful about what personally identifiable information that you include um, when you are entering um, questions into ChatGPT or the AI tool, because it does hang on to that information. And right now we don't know how that information is being used. So big word of caution. All right, let's now head over to Microsoft Bing. We have a district account to this, so a subscription, which means that you have access to this tool for free. Bing.com, top right hand corner, sign in, use your same email address and password that you use for Google, and it should log you right in. If you have any troubles, reach out to tech and they will help you fix that. Right now, the spot that we are on is we are, we're on a search engine. And within that search engine, Microsoft has an AI tool and that is called Copilot. You can see it up here at the top. You also see this little symbol right here. Recognize this symbol because um, if you type something in here, you're actually just doing a website search. If you click on this tool, it's going to take you out to Copilot, which is the AI companion um, associated with Microsoft Bing. So we're going to come out here. You're going to see virtually the same setup. Here's a place where you can ask the questions. Um, there's a little microphone here. If you want to like talk your question out, you can talk your question out and it will type it for you. <laughs> so easy. Um, and then we have these um, also these pre-generated prompts like we saw in chat GPT. So we could look at this, um, look at this one. Oh, and it does pictures too. So many things. All right. So create a piece of abstract art that echoes a temperate rainforest. Let's see what it does for us. So while this is generating a picture for us, there you go. Um, if you like it, you don't like it, 
there's options here. Oh, let's add more color into it. So there's lots of different things, um, ways that you can use these tools, which brings me up to my next point. These videos are short, but if you want more information on how to use these tools, next week I will be releasing a new AI course and we are gonna dive into, um, we're gonna take a deeper dive into each of these tools and show you how to use them um, a little bit more than I'm able to go over in five minutes. So this was, um, this was the AI sandwich, ChatGPT and Copilot, and I will see you again next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.